How's it going everyone? Deeks here with another All About Truvis number 11. So, you want to begin collecting Truvis. was an idea I had a few hours ago when uh, somebody announced uh, on social media that they wanted to start collecting Truvis. So I thought I'd do a really nice brief, well it's probably not going to be brief, it's me, but uh, a really nice breakdown of what to look for when you are starting collecting. So the majority of Trubas out there is usually uh, put in production by a golf club or a brand, you know, just to put themselves out there. But there are the basic Trubas that Callaway launched, I think it was back in 2014 or 2015, which was their idea of putting pence that look like a traditional soccer ball onto a golf ball to assist whether when you're putting or chipping just to help your eyes align with the ball correctly, make it more striking. There's lots of different things that people says that it does and doesn't do. But um, it's had a very different and intended effect by people like you and me uh, because we like to collect them. So there are a few Truvers out there which you can buy as retail in shops. This is probably the most common one. This is a simple blue pent on a white background. And you can usually buy those um, in a box of 12 uh, on Amazon or your local golf shop. Additionally, we have this one, which is just as common, which is the red on the white. I'm going to sneeze. You have to bear with me. Thank you. Another one which is very common is this one, which is black on white. I'm going to tell you a quick story about this. Uh, after collecting for about five or six months, um, I had about 100, 150 at the time. And I was playing golf, uh, Aylith Golf Club um, up in Scotland. And it was really quiet that day. It was not a very pleasant day in Scotland. Um, and there was a guy walking his dog on the course. And I'm playing golf. I don't mind people walking the dogs on the course as long as they clean up after them. And the guy approaches me and he's like, my dog's found some golf balls. Um, do you want them? And I'm like, yeah, all right, sure. And he hands them over and is he handing them over to me? You know, you've got like a, a ball that's 20 years old and a ball that's showing the core and uh, a ball that's covered in tree sap. And then the last one he pulls out is this one. And I'm like, oh, fantastic, a true this like that and it was in really good nick and then I got home and I realized that I've got all of these common ones but I didn't actually have the black and white so somewhere out there the Truvis Goss decided that that was the day for me to get the black and white one. Uh, another common one is the pink one. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, another common one, this one's probably the most common at the moment. I see these being sold in sleeves and dozens all the time. This is the yellow with the black pants, um, especially for you, you winter players. This is a, a really common one. This one, you think it would be common. It's green on white, but it's not. And the reason for that is retail, but only in the USA, in a shop called Dick's Sporting Goods. So if you're near a Dick's Sporting Goods, you can probably pick up a dozen of these for $30. But in the UK, very, very hard to get hold of. So if you could ever snag one of these green ones, you know you've done all right. They also do a Swedish one, which is a light blue and yellow. Um, I usually have that, but I traded it a couple of months ago, so I'm going to need to get one of that one of those back in my collection. This one is a very similar one to the Swedish one. This is a blue and orange one. Now, this was released for the Junior PGA. And again, this is quite a rare one because I think they only gave it out to people that attended the events. Um, it's a really nice ball as well, just orange and blue. Goes really nice next to the Sweden ball. And it's just your last example of solid colour Truvers that are common. There are many Truvers out there that have uncommon colours. Um, for instance, if you have one with just yellow and it's genuine, we're talking a few hundred pounds there. So... 
Um, there are also different shades of blue, different shades of red that I've seen. Um, we're talking over £100 for each of those because they were probably prototypes when they released and they made very, very few of them. So there are not many out there. Um, the ones that they made probably got hit to a bottom of a lake and the ones that survived probably won't be in great condition. So if you've got a mint, certainly a yellow one, uh, you are in a um, very good place. Now, the next ones are not solid colours, but are still retail. And the best example of these is you can buy these in boxes of 12 and each sleep has uh, three of a suit that you would find in a pack of playing cards. These are really common. And if you find someone selling like a batch on uh, on eBay, uh, nine times out of ten, they're going to have one of these. So we've got the hearts. We've got the spade. We've got the diamond. And if you're playing the home game, we've got the clubs as well. These are um, really straightforward to get hold, uh, really straightforward to um, to grab, usually on sale on Amazon or eBay. Um, what I did, and obviously, I, you know, I don't want to give everyone the idea, but I bought a box of 12, pocketed the the four that I needed and sold the, un, uh, the others on to other collectors. Which brings me on to price for you beginners. Now, sometimes on eBay you can get really lucky and get good deals. I find that you will usually purchase a mint trubis for between five and eight pounds. Uh, I'm going to show you some um, examples later of ones that uh, are worth slightly more in my collection. But as I said, you can find them going up to, I reckon, about £500. If you are a proud owner of a Sergio Garcia ball, we're talking hundreds of pounds there. There are others like that. I think the, uh, is it Mark Crossfield, uh, the, the golf uh, reviewer? on eBay, I think his balls are very expensive. Uh, Michelle Wee, a golfer in the US, she released her brand uh, with it on and she did it in red and pink. And one of those, I think it might be the pink one, we're, we're talking hundreds of pounds on that one as well. But for these ones, I wouldn't be paying any more than four or five pounds for these ones because they're so common. Uh, one that was very common and you could probably still pick up is the green shamrock. Um, they also, in the same series, they released the England flag and the Scotland flag. Again, really popular. I don't have the English or Scotland flag to show you simply because I traded those as well. Um, but again, for £5, you shouldn't really be paying more. But the one thing to remind is you're watching it, watching this on the 14th of January 2021. Things change so quickly. So, for instance, uh, a very common ball two years ago was the European Tour. Truvis, which was just the European Tour logo on a blue pen on a white background. You get them everywhere. People were selling them for really reduced rates. But I traded mine about two months ago, and now I can't find them for love nor money. So today, this is really common, but you never know um, what's going to happen in future. So try to make sure that if you have a ball, keep hold of it unless you're not looking to collect anymore, because the value of these things really changes. Another one that was quite common before, but is quite hard to get hold of now. This is the Callaway Epic Flash. So the golf club range that they released, the Epic and the Epic Flash, uh, they put that logo on a Truvis. Very nice ball, green and yellow with the Epic Flash. Finally, uh, this is common in retail in the UK. This is simply the Ryder Cup on a dark blue pen on a white background. These, again, very common. Now, we're going to move slightly on to something a little bit more common. So I mentioned the Dick Sporting Goods Green Ball. These ones are in retail, but in the US, so they will command a slightly higher price. There are three versions of the USA Stars and Stripes. This is the most common one, which is the, uh, the stars in a star formation. This one, which is the uh, blue pants with just white stars, and you've also got the red stripes on that one. Uh, on the other one, the red stripes are actually in a star formation. 
So you've got those two and this one, which is a newer one, which is they have the USA logo and then the pent in the white lines on the red background. All of these I would recommend at the moment you're looking between six and eight pounds because they are slightly more rare. Um, but people go over to the USA, buy a dozen, pocket one, sell 11. So they are a little bit more easy to get hold of. This is probably the trickiest right now because it's come out in 2020. Uh, but I would expect between six and eight pounds for these ones. Now, we're going to talk about retail. But Japan. Now, Japan are, when it comes to Callaway, Japan have the whole market full of Callaway goods. So many things that I'd like to buy, but they will not ship out of the country. And they've got things like wallets, they've got leather bags, they've got leather luggage, they've got designer clothes, and it's all Callaway. And they have a massive market out there. So there are a lot of things, uh, especially Truvis, that are just unique to Japan. Now, probably the most common are the chevrons. Now, you can get the chevrons in the blue. You can get them the yellow and black. You can get the pink and I guess you can get the red I'm not sure Phil I bet you'll be able to tell me if I can or not um, they're quite common you could pay between seven and ten pounds for each of those the next one is the paws now we're talking a, this is going to be a step up in price they do the paws definitely in red and definitely in blue so white paws on a red and blue background i would expect between 10 and 15 pounds for these ones because they are a lot harder to get hold of if you are in japan or going to japan you want to be taking a road trip to a sports shop or a golf club because you can pay back your own collection by buying these and not just to sell them, but you can really use them for trades. Um, I'm having so much luck at the moment trading with a guy called Dan in New York. Um, and what we simply do is we find the ones that we can get hold relatively easily and then we trade them. So no money's changing hands. We're simply just bulking up the ones that they need and sending them over. If you were to buy a dozen of these, you could put like little batches together that you could use for trades, uh, whether it be USA, Canada, newbies, old, but you know, there's lots of different things that you can do. So these ones really rare, red, blue. I don't think they've done any other colors in these ones. This one is another one that's eking into the US trade market. Now, it is called the Play Yellow, which is a charity um, in the US. Um, they are really common now. And I would be I would expect you could probably get hold of one for about seven pounds. Um, but because they're selling them by the dozen on Amazon, they're relatively easy to get hold of. Now, if you're in the UK, uh, there are about, I think it's 16 to 18 uh, golf clubs that I know of um, that have released their logo on a ball. And they are easy to get hold of for the most part. Um, so, for instance, this one was really easy for me to get because I go on holiday in Scotland and where we stay is just a few miles from Carnoustie. So it's really easy for me to just pop over there, grab a couple, pocket one, trade the rest. I've got too many balls. This one is a really nice story. This is the Royal County Down Ball. Now, I contacted their um, customer service team and they were so friendly. They sent me the link on where to buy them. I bought two. Um, just really nice people to deal with. Um, unfortunately, though, that is a really rare story because most of the clubs out there don't want to know. They are not going to help you. This club didn't even bother to return my message. This is Wentworth. Uh, which we all know is in the outskirts of London. But there are so many clubs out there that will not respond. They just don't care. So, for instance, Woburn, uh, the Berkshire Club, or Berkshire, wh wherever you're from, um, 
Glen Eagles will not return your call or email. St Andrews, as always, best customer service. If, if we're talking about golf and customer service, there is no better place to go to than St Andrews. Their customer service is the best. It's the, the best customer service I've experienced in any market. So they will certainly help you out. But all the other clubs um, just won't get back to you. So if you are in a neck of the woods, so for instance, I'm in Scotland, but I know in the outskirts of London, there are a few clubs like Woburn, uh, Wentworth, uh, Berkshire, um, Prince's Golf Club, I believe is near London. I'm really stretching now. Um, but always make sure you pick up some more, either put together a batch for trades or just sell them on eBay. But the uh, the two club ones, so the Carnoustie and the uh, Royal County down between six and eight pounds. The Wentworth, relatively more rare, simply because they won't even show you the time of day. And I think it's technically a private golf club, so you'd have to be a member or invited to get on there. So these are gonna be harder to get hold of. I'd probably pay between 10 and 12 pounds for this one because it is a really difficult one to get hold of. So I've talked about the lower end and just to end, I wanted to show you a few balls in my um, collection that were worth a little bit more. Now, again, this could be completely different in 12 months time, but at the moment, I would say these are three of my most expensive balls. This one is Intel Form, uh, which I believe is a company in the US. Uh, this one is just a like a three white lines in a circle, white on a red pen. Um, I've seen these selling for about $75 um, each on eBay in the US. So if you're in the UK and you want to take a look at the US market, all you need to do is just type in hard into your address bar, www.ebay.com, and then you'll see that everything's in dollars and you'll have access to a lot more balls that you won't see in the UK version. Also, make sure that you put worldwide, worldwide postage and what's the other one uh, location so worldwide because you will be able to see more on ebay.com than you will on ebay.co.uk um but yeah these are usually about 75 dollars uh, I, I i think these are going to go up in value as well because i think they only did one print of them i don't i've not seen a new print of these so the the printing is um you know if, if they printed them only in 2016 the numbers are going to dwindle, people are going to lose them, break them, you know, whatever. And that's why the value of this is going up. Additionally, this ball, which is the Baker's Bay ball, which is a golf course in the Caribbean. Again, they would not respond to my emails and I sent them more than one and uh, a tweet. Apologies for my daughter crying upstairs. It's bedtime. Um... This is Baker's Bay. Now, this is a really, really lovely ball. It is a white starfish on a green pen. And I reckon, again, 60, 70 pounds, simply because they I think they only did the one lot. Uh, I've certainly not seen a reprint. So these, I reckon about 60. Again, you know, Phil, Ian out there, please correct me if you think I'm wrong, but that's where I put that. The last one is a bit of a tricky one. This is my favourite ball, by the way. This is the Taco Bell uh, Waste Management Open. Um, this one is super hard to get rid of, but you've got to be careful because the ones that are worth more are actually a different type. See, I've got Chrome Soft X, but there is a different type of Chrome Soft and they're the ones that are worth more. Um, for this, I reckon about, you know, Again, it really changes, but I'd expect to see one of these going for about 40. Uh, if you've got the rare version, and I will put in the notes which one that is, you know, we're talking up, upwards of 100. So that's something to bear in mind. So are you a collector? Are you wanting to get into uh, Truvis Collecting? Let me know in the comments if you felt this has been useful for you. Uh, is there a common one in the UK that you think I've missed? Um, there are, as I said, there are a couple that I've traded that are common, but I don't have in my collection. But let me know, how's your collection going? How many have you got? And I'd be really interested to hear from you. Uh, I've got four or five balls coming in the next couple of days. So there'll be an all about Truvis coming up in the next week or so. Um, but as always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please hit like. Uh, I've been stuck on seven subscribers now for 
I don't know, four or five weeks. I really want to get a few more uh, just to make sure that, you know, this is, you know, worth people's time in watching. So thanks again. My name's Deeks. Check me out on Instagram, Deeks711. Uh, have a great day and I'll catch you next time on All About Dreamers. Bye bye.